everybody. Welcome to my little corner where there's no wrong way to play with paper. And today we are going to make some page kits with the leftovers from the warehouse box buzz series that I did. It is a lot of leftovers, y'all. There's a lot of paper here. I can't tilt it up, but it's like, it's like that thick. Yeah, it's that thick. Now, some of them are whole papers. Some of them are ephemera. And I'm going to show you what I do. This is what I do with all of my leftovers. So usually when I make page kits, I just get a large 12 by 15 bag that I get on Amazon. And I'll link that below. And I will um, just put them all in there. So as I get done with a page kit, I put it in there, put it in there, put it in there. And then once I'm done with all the page kits that I have made, and I usually make 10 to 15 at a time, then I will pull it all out and I will go through it and sort it in the manner that I'm going to show you. So let's just get to it and have some fun. Alrighty, anything I talk about, including the warehouse box series where all of these papers were used on layouts, um, I will link in the description below. So just hit that little arrow when you're liking the video. I would be very honored and you can check out all that other stuff. Alrighty, okay, I think I said that right. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah, okay, let's just go. Okay, so I will break down my scraps I use that loosely because some of these are whole pieces of paper and I may end up just putting them away a lot of them are scraps some of them I just cut a little bit I mean that's how it works you know and I'm not going to um cut a piece of paper to make a base page out of I like to make my base pages literally with scraps and so since all of these lines are somewhat the same tones, it should work out really well. If it doesn't, I can always save it or figure out something later. But I definitely, this is what I do. So I will break it down into categories. I will break it into put away. Those are going to be my whole pieces of paper, right? And I will just put those in my color bins that I have. I use irises, boxes, because I cannot... How do I put this? I cannot stand for corners to be bent on my pages. I mean, I deal with it, it happens, but I could try really hard to avoid it. So I do old school irises bins, iris bins, geez, and I sort them by color. So full sheets of paper will be sorted by color. I will have a pile that's um, just put away. Then I will have small, medium, and large scraps. Those will be what I use to make base pages. Then I will have an ephemera pile, and I will also have an embellishment pile. Now, small scraps will probably most likely end up in my embellishment pile at the end, but you never know what's going to happen when you start putting base pages together. So, we're going to just sort them that way. So, I'm going to sort a few, and then I will pause it, finish sorting it, and come back. Okay, so now this was part of the These Days collection kit, and I will save this. This will go in embellishments for me because I will use all of this. I will make a tag. I don't know. I mean, I just did the strip scraps to embellishment. It's already done. I just got to cut it, right? So I will save this, and this will go in an embellishment pile. Now, I actually think I'm going to move this entire pile. Jeez, it's heavy. Gosh. And I'm going to create piles here so that you can see what I'm doing. So that will be embellishments. This will go in ephemera because it is left over from that. This is just a white scrap. So we'll see how big, I'm thinking medium, okay? This will go in small. This is a sticker sheet and it is, you know, somewhat used up, but it will go in ephemera, okay? Then here's a whole sheet of paper that I did not cut into, I did not use. So I will set this over here to the side. You won't be able to see, but that will be in the put away pile. I have another whole sheet of paper put away. I have this bow bunny and that will go in large. I have this paper large. So you guys are getting the idea, right? Um, this I must have gutted, so we'll put that in large. And I'm just gonna continue to go on and on, I'm gonna pause it and I will be right back and then I will break it down some more and we'll start some base pages. Okay, hang in there, y'all. So I have my three piles. I have small, 
medium that's trying to creep into large. Oh, it says it wants to be there. <laughs> and then I have large. And you can see I have quite a bit of paper. I mean, over the last three weeks, four weeks, how long have we been doing that? I know we did several weeks. Um, I did a lot of page kits. I did a lot of layouts, almost a layout a day. If not, I think I tallied it all up. I have over 30 layouts. That's a lot. I mean, that, that, so I have a lot of scraps and we're going to do something fun with them. Now, I am going to have these piles sitting next to me. You guys are not going to be able to see them because I can't, I've only got so much camera space, right? The small scraps I will set to the side, but I would be surprised if we use much of them. They may end up, like I said earlier, in the ephemera pile. Okay, those are going to be over here. Now, also next to me, I have a stack of cardstock. I have white and I have a couple cream and a couple black. Now, most of them will probably be white, but I don't know what I'm going to do. So I did grab a few of each because I don't want to get up if I don't have to. Those are sitting next to me to use. I also have pulled out, which I do, mm, oh, half the time. I decided to do it this time. A bunch of border strips that are actually from the Love RTS swap. I have a few left. And if they fit the color scheme, I may do just some very simple base pages and use these as a jumping off point. And I will show that. I'm sure I'll do at least one or two. So we'll do a few of those now. I am going to put five together on film, then I will pause it, get as many as I can out, and then I will share, oh gosh, I can't, <laughs> it's too much, um, I will come back and share all of the ones at the end that I have done, otherwise this video will be way too long, and everybody will be like, are you done yet? <laughs> so, that's what I'm going to do, now I'm going to start off very simple, and I'm going to start off just with a white base, base pages are basically just a way to, hmm, how should I put this? They are a good way to have a grab and go, right? Um, I, I did not learn these from Miss Janet. I mean, while by all means, she is like my favorite person to watch make these. Um, but I have seen them several times. We used to do them in Creative Memories way back in the day. They just were a lot simpler. They weren't so detailed. And we didn't think outside of the box. We thought we had to be perfectly, you know, lines and squigglies and all kinds of stuff. That's what the zigzag packs were and all of that. So base pages are not new to me. They're probably not new to you. But they are so handy when you just want to scrap but you don't want to think. To me, that's what they are. And that is oftentimes for me. So that's what I love base pages for. Now, I really love this paper. Let me see what I can come up with here. I'm going to take ones that are alike, set next to each other and see. I'm going to start with a big one. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking this one here. We could do just what Miss Janet Madison calls a happy horizontal. That would work. Hmm. And I kind of like this gray, to be honest. So let's get our trimmer out. And we don't have to worry about measuring. That's not the goal here. The goal is to use up our scraps. I am, however, going to cut off the branding strip. I just line it up. I am going to cut that off. Oops. Then, let's see here. We have that here. Now, what would I like to do? I'm thinking two gray strips right across there would look lovely. And I'm going to go at half an inch for each one. In general, those are the size I cut my strips when I'm basically bordering a pretty piece of paper. That's how I see it. And that's how I do it. So now remember, this is just a base page. So when I go to do a layout, I could easily, easily take this, cut a quarter of an inch off and back it with another gray paper or a black paper or a dark teal paper. This is just going to be the first layer, quote unquote, of our layout. So now then when I do this, I will take some temporary adhesive 
and I'm not using very much because I want to be able to move it if I decide to. And I think I'm just going to go a whole inch down. Helps if you line your paper up. This is when I love my mat. If you do not scrap with a mat, then I would highly recommend that you do. It takes a lot of the stress out of it, lining it up. And if you're like me and you can't put things straight to save your, save your soul, because <laughs> I can't. Now these I'll just eyeball. And I am not going to overlap them. I will butt them up against there, just like that. And then put the top one and I will have one base page totally done. So there's one, they all go this fast. Maybe we'll do more than five, we'll see what happens. Now all this is, like I said, is the first layer. So I could use it like that, which would be super pretty, right? And you could do a grid of photos over here. I could do it like that. Miss Janet has showed us that many, many times. Um, now that was a eureka moment for me when she's like, just flip the page. Should have been common sense, right? But I never had thought about that. So definitely think about that. And I will link Janet's um, base page series here on YouTube um, below in the description because she is a wonderful, wonderful teacher. So there's one. We got one. Let's see what we can do next. How about we do a black base? I do like black bases. I enjoy them very, very much. And let's see what we have here for some papers. But, ooh, this is pretty. I like this. Isn't that pretty? That is pretty. Ooh, but that looks really good. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, I'm gonna use that one. I just like that with the black base and yellow. You know, like in the movie B, black and yellow, black and yellow. Um, maybe, mm, no, I'm not liking that. I'm kind of thinking this green would look good. Or even this washi tape that I never used. I bought with this kit and I never used it. However, I would say that if I were to use this, then I would almost feel like it needed to be horizontal to have the butterflies like that. Wouldn't that be pretty? I like that. I think that's pretty. And then you could have a title. I just like that against the black. Look how pretty that looks against there. Hmm, I'm on the fence. I don't know if I like it with this paper, but I definitely like it with the black. So I'm gonna set that aside and think about that for a minute, marinate on it for a second. <laughs> you guys know me, I want it to marinate. <laughs> like a big old piece of, of roast beef. Oh look, look, isn't that convenient? All right, well, I'm thinking some like that maybe, I'm liking that. No wrong way to do this by any, any means. Mm. Do I even want? I'm thinking I'm just gonna do it like this because I could turn it, I could go like this. I could decide to move it up here. Kind of liking that. I do, I do. I do, however, feel like it needs. Now see, with that paper, I'm still, maybe this darker one. Uh, no, you know what I think it is? I think it's because it's the black. I'm just not liking any of that, but I think I'm just gonna go with that. So that'll be another base page. So let's tack it down. It's funny how those two, two ended up right next to each other and I grabbed them. Again, just line it up on your grid if you have a mat and stick it down. We don't have to be perfect because we can always move it. This one. This time I will turn it this way. It's not gonna matter which side we put it on. Line it up. And just like so. 
helps if the paper's straight. I like to put it on here just because it doesn't slip. So a lot of people put it on the edge of their paper right here, which I do. I mean, I do. I can't sit here and say I don't. But I think I want this over more like that. Okay, so there's another one. We could do the photos inside here and then do a title and some journaling. I mean, we don't know what will happen, but that's a good base page, I think. So there's two really easy ones. Now I'm going to go outside the box, get a white one, because I do want to show you guys how I will do this when I pull out my border strip borders. This also um, was an idea from Janet Madison, which I'd seen these before too, but I don't know. She just made it look so easy the way Janet only does. And, um, ooh, look at that one. Who was this one made by? Oh, there's no name on it, but I do think I can find something to fit that. And um, it's a great way to use up little strips of paper that you have. Um, and we had a swap with it on the RTS. Now, so I will take this and I will, it's obviously going to be my title. From this, I will try to find a paper that I feel goes well with it. So, um, that one, maybe, well, maybe. I'm liking this peach. I almost feel like I should pull some peach out. I mean, how much better could this be with this? I mean, that, that's pretty good, right? I'm liking that, but I'm feeling like if I use this, if I cut this down to a 9 by 12 hopefully it's big enough for a 9 by 12 and then I put a strip here, I need to find a color. Like, I don't think this one, it doesn't pop off enough for that one. But, what about this pink? And I'm just brainstorming here. Ooh, I kind of like that. Okay, so let's do that. So I'm going to cut this down to 9 if not nine, then eight. So pull my trimmer out. You guys wanna know something funny? I use this thing upside down all the time because that's what I've seen Janet do. <laughs> and it just feels right. Oh, isn't that funny? You know what, it's just a little bit over nine. Ain't nobody gonna measure my page. And if they do, they need to find something else to criticize. It's a little bit bigger than nine and I just don't wanna waste that strip. Okay, so just like that. And then what I'm thinking is I'm going to measure how wide this is. So it's from here, so a little over four and a half with the edge of the butterfly, because I want that strip to go there. So that's one, two, two and a half, a little more than two and a half. So we'll do two and three quarters. I'm going to go a little further than that. Better safe than sorry. I don't want to have to cut twice. Okay. Again, there's no wrong way to do this. You cannot do this wrong. And you're just having fun. Okay. So I want this to be, I'm just going to eyeball it because we're not trying to be perfect. We're just having fun, right? Let's get this over to the one. Okay. Now. What I'm thinking is I will adhere this here. See how it's just, I'm glad I went a little bit more, just like that. It just kind of makes that pop off. So I'm going to take this and temporary adhese it. How do you say that? Adhere, adhere. That's probably the right way, not the way I say it. Nothing will be permanent. Okay, now, oh man, what do I do with my T-square? Okay, so I'm going to line this up just like this. And I'm going to put, come on, Jen, put my T-square here and I wanna figure out about even, right? So this is an inch, no, it needs to be like an inch and a half on each side. Just about, and you know, this paper, if you line up the side, it's gonna be straight. So I know that it's crooked right now, but when I put this down, it will be straight, as long as I keep my edges on. Just like that. And then I want to just eyeball this. 
I love the butterflies sticking out and it is just a little bit short, but that's all right. But what it does mean is I'm going to have to use my T-square again, line it up. I think I'm just gonna have about there, just like that, and push that down. And then I'm going to take this beautiful strip that someone made and I'm going to temporary it too. The reason being is because I will probably add to it and make it one large cluster when I do the page. I'm gonna go just like this, eyeball it. Does not have to be perfect. I might even take it off and put it on foam and make it stand out even more. I don't know. So because of that, I'm not gonna stress. And branding strips are not totally even. Again, not gonna stress. And look at that, isn't that pretty? It's almost all the way down. I just need to add photos. Maybe mat it if I wanted to. Maybe like with a green or a teal. It would be done and done. Just a grid of photos and a little journaling and all done. So that's three. And let's do another white one. White to me is an easy base to go off of. And let's see here. What other border strip could we maybe make work in here? I know the colors that I have. I've been playing with this for a few weeks. Ooh, that one's pretty. Isn't that pretty? Let's see here. Pretty, pretty. That one's really pretty. I bet I could make that work. Let's see, we'll pull out a couple just in case I struggle because <laughs> sometimes the struggle is real. It truly, truly is. Miss Karen made this one. Let's see here. Ooh, it's got a butterfly on it. We're working with butterflies, right? Okay, let's let's see if we can play with that one. It's got peach and the gold and the teal. So we'll definitely try to play with that one. Um, what else can we do? Let's see, let's see. I think I, I can probably work with this one too. Let's see, this one was made by Patty. That one was made by Karen. And oh, one of my hairs is probably, I'm shedding y'all. At least it's not a gray one. Lord knows I got enough of those. <laughs> um, and this one was made by Joanne Water. Waller or Walter? Watson. My bad. Okay. So I'm going to try to do something with those three. And then we'll make one more regular one. And then I'll, I'll pause and we'll go see what else we can do. All right. So let's... That hair does not want to leave. Let's... Let's do this one just because I know I have butterfly paper, right? Everything was butterflies, pretty, pretty butterflies. And no, not green. Could do this teal. What if we made that just right there? Stands out, it has a lot of pretty colors. I'm liking those together. I'm almost liking this paper again. What if I were to... Maybe go like that, make that a base page. Hmm. I could, and then have a couple of little arrows down here. Let's see what else I have. Let me get this out of the way. I'm mixing all my stuff up here. That's what happens though when you make base pages. It gets a little crazy sometimes. Ooh, I have this, this color, which might be better. No, I like that on its own. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Speak to me, speak to me, papers. <laughs> I'm like a haunting voice, right? Mm, I really, I kind of like this. I do. Let's see. I could almost, that could almost be the page. But... I'm kind of wanting to layer something. Is this about the same length? Oh, look, it is. Okay, so what if I were to go like that? I mean, honestly, you could even turn this. Or should I go like this? No, it needs to be like that. You could even almost turn this this, this way if you wanted to. You could 
I mean, the butterfly's a little crooked, but there's that one. I feel like this one matches better. Most, I hate it when I kind of get stuck, you know? I want, I want a certain thing, but I know maybe it's not the best choice. That happens to me sometimes. No. Okay, well, I feel like... Oh, here, wait. What if I go like that? Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, here, hang on a sec. What if I were to go like this and I fishtail this right here? Just because there's fishtails here. So I'm gonna do that. I do think I'm gonna flip this paper over. I want this to go this way. So let's do some fishtailing here. I'll just fold it in half. Oh, when it when it'll let me, I create a little and pull it tight. So like put your scissors in here and pull it tight before you cut because it, it will have a bend. Okay. And you'll know that's about center. It does not need to be perfect. I always tell people. I have a girlfriend, she just kind of started scrapping. I'm like, people are not gonna look at it as close as you think. The only person that's gonna notice is you. It's like when my husband is building something and it's not perfectly straight. He just, oh, it drives him bazonkers. Okay, just like that. And let me just see it before I decide. I'm liking that very, very much. Okay, so that's gonna be the base page. So I'm going to start with this one. And put this down. This needs to go back in large. Okay. And I know I pretty much need this down here, so let's straighten up our paper. So I can use the T-square. We, we do want it to be straight. I think we're gonna go just like so. I always try to leave a little extra here because what if I decide to border it and I need to cut this off? So that's always my thinking. I can always move it when I go to do an actual page. Okay, my tape runner's running low. Now I'm gonna turn this. Actually, I think I'm going to put this down first. The reason being is because I need to know how far up I can put my other paper. So we're gonna go just like that. Beautiful, look, look. <laughs> Holy me, I'm telling y'all this is my life. <laughs> oh my gosh, just stay and watch while I put paper and stick it to myself. <laughs> Ah, that's hilarious. Okay, well, if nothing else, we have fun and we laugh around here, right? Okay, so I'm not too sure where I want this to land. But for now, again, when I go to do, I don't know what photos I'm going to use. But when I go to do it, I can always move it. That's why you just use temporary. And just like that, another base page. That one's pretty. Very springy, isn't it? Okay. So then, let's see here. Do, let's, should we do black? I mean, this has black. Maybe, let's see what happens. Okay. All right, so we've got green and we got lots of green. So we could do something like that. Maybe, hmm, go like this. No, I'm not liking that. I already can tell that. That's a maybe, I'm not sure. I have this one also. I haven't done an L design yet. I could do an L, right? I mean, kind of just did. Oh, well, I guess that is kind of an L design there. Like this, and then do maybe a couple blocks of paper. Let's see. Doo, doo, doo. Doo, doo, doo. Oh, I wonder how this would look with that. I don't hate it. I mean, I'm not in love with it, but I don't hate it. 
Hmm. Things that make you go, hmm. <laughs> oh, no. I'm just looking through my papers over here, trying to decide what I want. Kind of like that, but ooh, that is busy, isn't it? Ooh. I do like this with this, though. Almost like that green with it, too. Okay. Well, I, I know I like this, and I'm thinking I like this. Um, yeah, I do like this, and I do like this. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this down to a six. No, not even a six. Let's do five. We can always cut it down a little more if we need to. And I'm going to create just a page. That happens sometimes. You see the paper and you're like, ooh, I like that with the black or I like that with the white. No wrong way. I do think I'm going to cut like half an inch off. This will go in my small pile. It's another reason I set that over to the side here. Because what I think I'm going to do, and this is just fly by the seat of my pants. <laughs> is I'm going to go like this. Now, I might, this needs to be, see how it's uneven? I obviously messed it up when I cut it, which is probably why such a big piece ended up in scraps. So, let's even this out. Is it six? Oh yeah, we could do six. Okay, so let's make sure it's even. When you do this, don't push it up against here. It's already uneven, you're not sure, okay? All right, so you know this edge and this edge now is even. That goes in the smalls. So now you can push this up against here and just make sure it lines up. See, which it does not. So let me see. We can use this edge to line up. Let's see here. Maybe. No. Let's just... I want it to be a little longer though. So I'm gonna have to go up here to seven. Seven, can I get up to eight? Seven, maybe, maybe I can go to eight. No, but I can go seven and a half. So I know this edge is even, I'm gonna cut this one, okay? And now I know this edge is even, so I'm gonna flip it over and see what we got going on here. Just as easy as I can get it here, just to be safe that it's totally even, just like that. Okay, so now this is all squared up. I'm liking that better. Never want crooked, right? I almost wonder if I don't want, I have this really big scrap. I don't, oh, look how pretty that is. Yep, that has to happen. Okay, so let's do this one. It's a seven, so let's do this eight. We can cut off four and have eight, right? Hopefully. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. This is in my put away thing, so just to be safe. I'm gonna make sure it is eight. I'm gonna go nine. No, I'm gonna go eight. I'll change my mind six more times before we're done. <laughs> Medium. Okay. Look how pretty this is together. I really like this. Why didn't I put this combination together when I was doing kits? Oh, would have been gorgeous. But that's okay. Just means I can do it now, right? I, mm, yeah, just like, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so we're gonna put this together real quick. Once you figure it out, isn't that pretty? It's just so loud though. It is loud, but it is pretty. Okay, try not to stick anything to myself this time. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, so I hope everyone is having a beautiful day. Beautiful, beautiful day. Had a little drama at my son's school. 
last week, I had to calm down before I could actually talk about it because my son got punched in the mouth. And I was not a very happy mama, as no mother would be. At my son, my kids' at school, they um, have 6th, 7th, and 8th in middle school. And um, the boys are all in the same gym class, which means that there are 8th graders with 6th graders. And this really big kid wanted to be in the front of the line. And my son and some other kids were in the front of the line. And um, yeah. He walked up to my son. He said, move. And my, said, my son said, make me. <laughs> and the kid shoved him. And oh, my kid shoved him back. Yep, that's what happened. And then the kid shoved him again. So my son, who, if you have a child that has um, Asperger's or ADHD, you know they get picked on. It happens. I don't care how much the school tries to prevent it, it happens. Okay, so just like that, we have a base page. No, I don't like that. I'm gonna eyeball it, you know what? I'm trying too hard to make it straight. I'm trying to impress y'all. <laughs> anyway, so it's going to happen. So we have told Jason, you do not let people put hands on you. You, because if, you know, if he lets them, they're just gonna keep doing it. And I, I know how some parents see that, but he shoved my son first. And so how he was taught was to not let that happen. And so he didn't, which like it or not, I'm proud of the fact that he did not allow another child to bully him. Um, it, it's, it's a hard balance. It truly, truly is. But because his kid was so much bigger than him, which I do not, that's my point. I do not agree with the fact that the school has um, that age range together. I mean, sixth graders are still, they're only 10, 12. Yeah, they should not be in middle school, but that's my two cents. What do I know? I'm just a mom. I don't know nothing. Anyway, so we definitely had to ooh that's pretty definitely had to uh deal with that last week and I was not happy about it I was actually pretty mad about it if truth be told kind of like this combination what should I do hmm I'm thinking some strips that's what I'm thinking so yeah it was it was um an interesting week last week, to say the least. And I share a lot with you guys. I just had to calm down. I was so blooming mad that such a bigger kid hit my kid. And yet at the same time, I'm not going to run in there. They're just going to make fun of him. You know, you don't want to be that mom either. I think this needs more contrast. Ooh, I'm liking that. Okay. So here is my thought. I think I'm going to do some banners. Okay. So let me cut off some of these branding strips. Yeah. But he's fine. I mean, he did have a black and blue lip. The other kid got suspended. The coach did call me. I will give my school credit. They called me and they said, this is what happened. Your son was not in the wrong. Um, Jason did not get suspended, which I'm sorry. I don't think he should be suspended. And um, yeah. So, okay, I already forgot what I did there. Two and a half. And then I cut off a little bit. I'm going to make a banner going this way. And then I'm thinking, let's do, let's do a banner going the other way. Let's do this. What if we did this one? Let's just do two. Okay, make that, oops. Oh my gosh, I almost made a disaster. Okay. So then, I don't know how much I'm going to cut that. I like to stagger my banners when I do them. So let's go like this. So then I'm thinking right here, I need a pencil or something, something. Of course, I don't have a pencil. I have a pair of scissors. Okay. So if I pull this up here, can I? 
Why, yes, yes I can. Okay, so then I cut it just a little bit so I know where I want it to be cut. You improvise, people. <laughs> Improvising. <laughs> That'll go on my small. So then I'm gonna have a banner here and a banner there. I just, I don't know. Definitely a different concept in today's world. Used to be, if you started it, you were allowed to finish it and it's not like that anymore. It's just not, you are not allowed to finish it. You are to keep your hands to yourself and supposedly they will take care of it. So yeah, I'm not even sure that that actually happens but we'll give them the benefit of the doubt. That's where I'm going with that. <laughs> okay, I really like this. So I'm gonna cut three inches off of this. Do I want to do three? I think I'll do two and a half because I did two and a half on the other. This is going to come together. I do have something in my brain. Don't mind me. This will be the last one I do on film. And then I'll go put the rest together and we'll see what happens. Um, I'm just going to cut. Let's cut it in. Oh. Well, how much do I want? I don't know yet. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm putting this this way with a banner going this way. And then I'm gonna find a block of paper to put here. I do like that. I'm gonna banner this on both sides, so I don't think I'm going to. Okay, so banner, banner. Now I need to find a piece of paper that I like right there. Cause then I got pink, green, pink, green, vice versa. I know what I touched was not what I said. <laughs> oh. What about this? That would work. It would. I could do two, a mat. You know what I think? Ooh, I do like this though. Doesn't that look good? And of course, oh, I could get a full 12 if I went this way or this way. Okay, so let's cut this down. I must have cut something out of the back. All right, let's cut this down. Let's see what we can do here. Put this back over here. Huh. <laughs> what should I do? I did that one two and a half. So let's do two. Okay. I, not exactly what I had in my mind when I started this, but we're just going to go with it. Okay. So here's what I'm thinking. Look at that. I like that. And I'm gonna banner these, these two on both sides. So I need to cut a little strips. All right, so let's start with what I do know. I wanna do this. So I am going to banner this at the bottom. Just gonna push it together. Really, most of the time, I totally eyeball it. I'm not gonna lie. All right, so I don't think I want a drastic fishtail banner, however you wanna see it. I think I want it to be fairly subtle. That one will go there. And same here. Just gonna kinda eyeball it. You can put it on your trimmer. And you can totally, now when I first started making babes pages, they were nowhere as layered as these. Nowhere. They've just, we do them different. Like I said, this is not a new concept. It is just one that we do different. Really, back when scrapbooking first started, we did a lot of base pages. We just didn't think of them as base pages. I don't even remember what we called them, if I'm being honest. Okay, I'm gonna give myself plenty of room for photos. Again, right, I can totally move this later. So don't put a ton of thought into it. Just some basic, basic ones here. Okay, now do I want to? I think I do. I think I like it like that better. No, stick to the plan, Ginger. <laughs> stick to the plan. <laughs> okay, we'll see. Maybe I don't like that, maybe I do. All right, next I want to banner this and this, this, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I know what I'm trying to say needs to be very slight, just like that, just like this. 
Mm, I feel like I didn't do quite enough this way. There we go. Yeah, not bad. Then this one, again, people are not going to sit there and overthink it. Only you will. Okay. Uh, no, not quite that deep. Very slight. Okay. Just like that. So I'm going to have that across here. Should be close to even, Steven. Even Steven. Okay. Just like that. And yes, I have to constantly. Now, I need to cut just a tiny bit off of here. Should I do it with my scissors? Am I that brave? You guys know. Okay, everybody says, look at the end. Don't look at what you're cutting. <laughs> ah, not that bad. Ah, Eureka. Okay, then I'm going to go like, I want it to be a shallow one. See that my husband's grandma just called me, but we're almost done. So I'll call her back here in just a minute. Just love, I love hanging out with my husband's grandparents. I never had grandparents. They all passed away before I was born and or shortly after I was born. Mm, it needs a little bit less. Ah, okay. So we're just gonna make it a little bit shallower. Shorter, shallower, whatever I'm trying to say here. Okay, maybe that's better. Yeah, that's better. Okay, just want that gingham to poke through, then this. Okay, so I'm gonna put this down. Now, when I do the actual layout, y'all, I will straighten everything up just like always. Just right now, just eyeballing it, having fun, playing with paper. This is a fun thing to do when you want to play with paper but you want to not, oh, I don't know, worry, stress, talk yourself in and out of things, that kind of thing. And I'm okay with the banners. See, I like how the banners are overgoing. Just like that, I have another base page. Look at that. So I've done one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, so I've done six. I will do a few more and then I will come back. Okay, so I created four more base pages. So I have a total of 10, which I'll go over why that's a good number to stop at. So I created this one. I just took this dark green. I had this leftover um, butterfly, made a block. And honestly, this is the sizes they were in. I obviously gutted that page. I don't even know what size it is. I just stuck it on there. Then I did basically a basic L shape with a square. That's a good way. I think it makes this pattern paper really stand out. Um, should make it easy to use some leftover ephemera that I have. So there's that one. Then I made this one, this one here. Let me, should have thought about this more. Um, this one I used that last little border strip. Um, I just took bits and bobs. I had this piece left. I did cut it down just a hair because it just looked too big to me. This literally, I did not do anything. I just slapped it down there. And this one I did cut to four and a quarter um, wide so that if I decided to do like three by fours on here, that was my thinking. And yeah, so that one is done. And then this next one is really fun, but... As simple as it looks, it took me a hot minute to figure out how I wanted to do it. So I did some with some banners. I used this pretty um, butterfly paper. Um, and then these were papers that were in the kits. This is from the same line. And that's how that one turned out. I'm thinking maybe you could do a grid here and then a title in white. Or I um, honestly, I don't know what I'll end up doing, but there's that one. And then the last one I made off of camera, I just took some three inch strips, I inked them, and then I took a couple of those border strips and just made that there. Don't know where that'll end up, but I could see, you know, matted photo here, 
a set of photos, a title over here or down here. So I think there's a lot of options with this one. And just like that, I have 10. Now that is 10 base pages and I could have made probably at least 10 more, right? I'm not gonna go over these because I did those earlier. And next step for me is to make ephemera and things to use on these because what I will do is I will make page kits with these base pages. But in that those page kits, I will have the base page. I will have some matting papers that may go with it. And then I will have ephemera. So next video, I will make ephemera with the scraps of this these kits. So that's what we're going to do next. Then we will bring it all together and we will make some base pages. And then over time, I will do layouts with them. But I will, whenever I do a layout with one of these, I will film it. Film it. Okay, so I will see you guys tomorrow. I know this is a long video, but I just started chatting and playing and cutting and having fun. I hope it'll inspire you to make some base pages and that you will come back and hang out with me as we make some ephemera. Have a very, very blessed day. And thank you so much for all your likes and your your willingness to support me and hang out with me. I adore each of you and just comment below and say, hey, how's it going? Makes my day. All right, talk to you later. Bye.